everyone, it's Tammy, and I thought I would bring you along as I make one of these cards. I thought it was really cute. It's using a uh, stamp from Tracy Hay called Shell Yeah, and it has home is not a place, it's a feeling. And I just thought it was a really cute card, and I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, and it was very easy to put together. I just used some basic things that I have. Uh, so I have a piece of white cardstock that is cut into an A2 size, which is an eight and a half by 11 cut in half and then folded in half. So it creates a card that is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So it fits perfectly into an A2 sized envelope. And I like this size card. It's the most common card that I make for sure. And I think it's probably the most common card in America that um, anyone makes, but I, it's perfect. So I also had uh, from my stash a, let me pull it out, it's 36 pages of double dot design bow bunny, and this is six by six paper pad. So I just cut it in half. So that is a three by six piece of paper. And then I had, honestly, just in my stash of stuff, one, two, three, four, and three quarters by about one, two and a half, three and a half, sorry. So this is three and a half by four and three quarters piece of cardstock that I embossed using this dotted embossing folder. Just ran that through my Big Shot, got this cute little embossed, and then I thought that went well with the dots on this, and then I kind of thought it looked cute with the shell as well. So I got that, and then I wanted to incorporate some pink in here, just because I like green and pink together. So I got a piece of my twine, I'm going to use that for a bow, and then I also got some pink cardstock that I have in my stash, and I cut this just big enough to fit the turtle. And then I also cut this big enough to fit the sentiment and then it's going to go at the bottom. So with that, um, I don't really know that you need dimensions for these, but I can give them to you, but it's really based on whatever uh, image you use. But this is one two and a half by two and a quarter. And then this is about a half an inch and it doesn't really matter how long it is because I'm gonna cut it down here in a minute. So let's go ahead and put the card together. The first thing I did is just put the background down first and I just put it all the way against the edge like that. So I'm going to take my glue and you can use whatever adhesive you like. I love this art glitter glue. It is not glittery at all, but um, it dries quickly, it dries white, and it has an extra fine tip, which I absolutely would recommend and love. So I'm going to put that down here. You do have to purchase the tip separately, but uh, the good thing is, is that you just buy it once and then you can reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. And then I'm going to take the embossed sheet of cardstock and I'm going to just glue this one right on top and I'm going to kind of center this in the middle of the card. And I'm going to pop dot my turtle onto this pink piece. And to do that, I just take a couple of my little foam squares. Just like that. And I'm just going to Kind of center that in the middle of my square or rectangle. And then I'm going to take my twine and I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot. And I made my piece big enough so that I have leftovers on both sides just so I don't have to worry about uh, getting it too small or trying to save the twine. I do that sometimes, but goodness gracious, sometimes it's really hard on the hands to make such a small bow without having enough string or yarn or whatever you're using and I have a huge roll of this twine so <laughs> huge roll 
and I have some blue and white as well and I think I also have some red and green but I can't seem to find my red and green one I betcha now that I'm thinking about it I betcha I put it with my Christmas stuff because I know I used it on some gifts so I bet it's with my Christmas stuff and at first I thought I would put this down here like a little bow like that which is cute but then I thought it might be cute in her like in her hair and put it up there so wherever you think you would like to have it is fine Hmm. They're both cute, but I think since it's pink, I'm going to do it in her hair. And I like to put a little bit on the little, uh, whatever those are called. What are these called? That way they go, that way it sticks to where I want it to be. On the ends of the bow, I guess. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm centering this down. I'm putting my stopper on my glue just for a minute. I'm going to need it again, but I want to take my black pen and go over her little eyes. And there's three little dots here on her cheek that I'm also going over. And then I like to take my white pen and kind of help put a little bit of accent on here. So I'm going to, oops, the pen isn't working. If you use it on your finger, sometimes it helps get the ink rolling better. So I'm just gonna put some there, a couple dots there, and then I did like the front of the legs over here, and then I did the back of the legs over here. I don't know if that's right or not, but it kind of felt right to me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put and then I do a little bit of dots up there just for fun. Just whatever you think looks good. I think that's cute. And then I'm going to take the sentiment, which is home is not a place, it's a feeling, and I have that on my on my block already. So I'm going to open up my black ink and I'm just going to stamp this right on the edge. And I made the sheet or the cardstock barely big enough to hold this. So I'm doing my best to get it on there. I would probably recommend doing that second, like getting the, um, cutting it down stamping it first and then cutting it down, but I was living dangerously. And then so once you have that, you can, I'm just going to cut it off about here, and then I'm going to cut it up the middle, and then I'm going to cut the edge, the ends, so that it meets in the middle. This helps make a nice tag. And then I'm going to put this on the edge like that. So let me go ahead and get, and I did use my alcohol markers to color my turtle. And I used, oh goodness, touch five markers, I believe. And I really like those. They are not as nice to use as Copics, but they are a whole lot less expensive. And I found mine on Etsy. Just centering that where I want it. And then I also used some Wink of Stella to uh, sparkle up her little shell. And that's the whole card. Isn't that cute? Super easy. Here's the stamp set. It's adorable. 
I love the armadillo too. I just, you know, I try to get inspiration from looking at my stamp sets and finding something that I like. And for whatever reason, turtles are <coughs> always something that I like. I don't know why I like turtles, but I do. And I think that these turned out really cute. So I hope that you guys try it. Yay! Hope this gives you some inspiration. And I will talk with you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.